Okay, so we're going to be looking at a potentiometer today. So this one is 10k ohms. We have ground and 5 volts basically running across the potentiometer. There's two resistors in here and the wiper reads out uh, basically a voltage divider between the top resistor and the bottom resistor. We're reading that into analog pin A0 and just printing out the raw, the raw analog digital value. So let's try that out. And uh, All of our output is coming out in the serial monitor. So you can see that if I'm near ground, then the output is near ground. And if I rotate the potentiometer all the way around so it's near 5 volt, then the output is, uh, is maxed out. And of course, if it's somewhere in the middle, then my output is somewhere in the middle. You can also chart this if you go to the graph. And then as you drag things around, it's going to auto-scale this graph. So uh, things are going to pop around a tad. So I'm going to max it out and then uh, go to the minimum. And now as I drag things around, then this, uh, this little line is going to change. So that's the, that's the position. Uh, this is the number that we're, that we're reading out. Here's the same thing in the physical world. So if I plug in, uh, I have 5 volt ground and then the wiper. So my wiper is going into A0. My ground is connected to Ar Arduino ground and then the 5 volt is Arduino 5 volt. And flash the same program onto our physical Arduino. Hopefully you can see the potentiometer is uh, all the way at ground and we're getting close to zero out of the Arduino. If I if I hit it against its top, I actually reach zero. If I rotate this so it's uh, it's basically halfway, then I get about about 500. And if I crank it all the way to the max, then at some point it maxes out to uh, to 1023. This may be kind of hard to see, so I 3D printed a little pointer. So uh, that's maxed out. This is about halfway. And this is all the way to the minimum. Here's what's inside a potentiometer. We have ground, 5 volt, and then the middle pin is connected to the wiper. So it's got a little divot that's connecting this, uh, this big arc of graphite. So essentially there's a big resistor and we're picking up in the middle of that resistor, which is why we're getting about uh, middle out. So if I rotate this, so we're picking up closer to the ground side, you can see our output drops down to, uh, to closer to ground. And if I, if I rotate this thing around, so that it's, uh, so, so he here's the output spot. If we pick it up closer to the, the five volt side, then our output gets, uh, gets uh, close, to, uh, close to five volt. And the wiper is riveted down to this, uh, to this output pin. This is one reason why there's a little bit of resistance as you turn a potentiometer. There's several different styles. So th th this one is a linear potentiometer. So I have the 5 volt side, the ground side, and then the wiper is connected to this, uh, to this divot. So it's the same deal. So as I, as I approach the 5 volt side, my output, my wiper uh, voltage gets bigger and bigger. As I drop it down, then the voltage gets smaller and smaller. Here's a simple circuit with a potentiometer. I'm using the potentiometer as the current limiting resistor for this LED. So I have this hooked up exactly like before. There's 5 volt available to the potentiometer. There's also ground in the potentiometer. So the power to light this LED is actually coming through the potentiometer. So you can treat this as just a, a single variable resistor by pulling out two of the pins. So I'm going to pull out the ground pin and then the, the wiper is going to be powering the LED. So basically I now have a dimmer. The power for the LED is going through the potentiometer. So fine for an LED, it's not fine for something that's, uh, that's more, that uses more power than this. So th the other interesting thing so the LED is essentially operating in parallel with the resistance of the, uh, the ground side of my potentiometer. So you can see my number hasn't really gotten that big. I'm, up, I'm only in the 300s, and, and this is because the voltage is pulled down by the current flowing through the LED. So if I disconnect the LED, then suddenly the voltage that the Arduino is reading rises a lot. And uh, if I plug that back in, then the voltage of the Arduino is reading is pulled down by the current going through the LED. Here's the awesome Falstad circuit simulator. So here I have the two resistors of the potentiometer uh, on the right hand side and then an LED is in parallel with the, the bottom of the potentiometer. So the voltage at pin A0 with the LED in circuit is 1.6 volts. If I open the circuit then the voltage at A0 rises because it's not getting pulled down by the LED anymore. 